Joining us now is Domino's CEO, Russell Wiener. Let's try it again. Russell, how, it, oh, it looks better. You, uh, we had some audio issues last time. But you know what? That was before the Super Bowl. Now, now it's after. So you can give us, uh, you probably have better insight about how big a night it was for Domino. Well, I, I'll tell you, both teams on the field did great. What a great game yesterday. And, and, and another team that did great yesterday was the Domino's team. Uh, as you said, we saw around 2 million uh, pizza yes, pizzas yesterday. It was a great day for our, our team in the stores and our IT team here that handled all that traffic online. The, uh, the food inflation that you're seeing, because you have passed some along, uh, because I, I to told you that we, we uh, get Domino's a lot, and I've noticed that, that it has gone up. How much have you passed along? You passed along all the increases, and, and are, are you still seeing the same sort of year-over-year -year increases that we saw from a couple of months ago, or, or is it subsiding a little? Well, the nice thing is the number one pizza company in the world is we've got leverage with our suppliers, and we can pass that savings along to our customers. And then on the pricing side, what we do is we've got um, uh, some advanced analytics techniques that we've used really back since 2009. You know, we had a, a 599 mix and match deal that we launched in December of 2009. We kept it through December of 2021. And the only reason you can keep something that long is because it's right. And so we use those same analytics when we graduated into this new price point that we're featuring now. I've noticed it. you really do want to migrate people to online. Uh, Russ, and, and uh, it makes a huge difference. Uh, it was almost, I think, if you ordered online, just did this a couple, I think Saturday, we had, a, had to get quite a few pizzas for, for something that was going on. And it was, I think, $7.99 for a large versus like 14 or something. It was, a, it was a significant difference. Why? Is it that much better for you to, to be able to, you can save money when it's done online? It's that much easier in terms of, I guess, labor? Well, also, you were talking with your last guest about the monetization of data. And the fact is, when people order online, a lot of those 2 million orders yesterday were online. That's a lot more information for us to provide better experience for our customers um, and, and, and better business for our franchisees. So you're actually har harvesting some of the data. Can you give me an idea of, uh, it, with the ingredients, where have you seen the most uh, inflation? Where, what's been the most problematic for you? You know, it, it really is, is different over time. Obviously, uh, cheese is a, an important part of our products. Uh, last year, there was some um, chicken uh, uh, inflation. But look, at the end of the day, our job is not to sell um, or not sell what it costs the most money. It's what our customers want. And, and so we really try to put that in the back of our head and say, long term, we need to do and sell what's best for our customers. It doesn't really matter what the price is. And how about getting drivers and... and how difficult is it at this point? There, there was periods in the last couple of years where I, I know that certain franchises were, were turning away business. They just didn't have the people to satisfy the demand. Is there, you have to pay people more, but you've got everyone you need now? How do you characterize that? Well, first, I want to thank you. It sounds like you picked up your pizza uh, yesterday, so thanks for helping us with the volume there uh, during, Super Bowl, during Super Bowl. But, um, Saturday. Okay. So the... Uh, <laughs> The, the uh, delivery business for us from a capacity perspective, um, we're really back to pre-pandemic levels on folks who are applying for jobs. But, you know, they say necessity is the mother of invention. And one of the things that we just did was we purchased a fleet of 800 electric vehicles. And so what that allows us to do now is to tap into an incremental pool. So if someone wants to apply to Domino's as a driver, but they don't have a car, well, now they can drive this really cool electric vehicles. So we're continuing to innovate in that area as well.